Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, yes, or Wike, on Saturday, exchanged words over the political crisis in River State and the prevailing hardship in the country. Atiku had, in a recent post on his ex account, commended the people of River State for their steadfastness in the face of adversity and ensuring that the recent local government election was peaceful. He also lauded the state governor, Simlaye Fubara, for his commitment to the interests of the people and safeguarding the sanctity of the local government election amidst provocative challenges. Reacting to Atiku's statement during a luncheon in honor of the 10th River State House of Assembly on Saturday, Wike said the former vice president has been rejected by Nigerians, having contested and lost the 2019 and 2023 presidential elections. He said, we never contested the local government elections. Did we contest? Did we pick forms? I hear Atiku Abubakar say, oh, they have rejected me in River State. Okay. Assuming, though not conceding, that he has lost so many times, Nigerians have also rejected him. If you say for an election we did not contest, never participated in, that it shows Nigerians have rejected us, fine. You have you that have contested and failed woefully. Nigerians have rejected you, so pack up and go home. In a, however, in a swift reply, Atiku said he wouldn't be distracted by Wike's theatrics, whom he claimed was using, using the current hardship in the country to play politics at the expense of the masses. Emi, what do you have to say to this story? For me, these are very unnecessary tatums. Both of them are just engaged in trying to play on our intelligence. We just heard that uh, one of the players in this conversation said that uh, he has been in the game that it is politics since 1998. That oh. is even before they return to our democratic, uh, this, uh, current day, democratic this current one that we are, we are enjoying now. Yeah. And the other one, actually, you know, they were the founding fathers of PDP, which is Atiku Abubakar. They put together groups and groups and groups and they came up with the idea of uh, PDP. PDP. He has been in, so both of them, uh, they, they have been in politics as a career for a very long mm -hmm. time. So that is why I just say it's unnecessary tattle. But looking at the issues that are very more critical, one is applauding what I call a selection at the state level. And that the same man that is applauding that selection is hoping to contest because he has been contesting. And he's also hoping to contest again, maybe probably 2027. The question I want to ask him, if I neck but eventually condone this form of election, will Atiku accept it? Will Atiku say free, credible, fair, and celebrate the election? And even thank Anik and thank the president for doing well, ensuring that uh, such an election was held in Nigeria? Will Atiku accept it? You see, this is one thing these politicians are doing. They will support what will destroy them today. Then later they will come and begin to lambast the Nigeria state. That Nigeria is the problem. Meanwhile, you are laying the foundation and encouraging a bad behavior, a deviant behavior that has kept the Nigeria state where it is today. In this state of quagmire, suffering and commotion everywhere. How can you say an election that was conducted even with a court order that barred the RISIEC or INEC for giving RISIEC the voters register, which is the primary foundation of the local government election in the state. And you are saying it's a, it's a well-conducted election. You are happy with it. Some people have been rejected by such uh, unrulable un un behavior, so deviant act that we saw by Rissie, that you disobey a, a court order and you are established by law. You went ahead and conducted an election, telling people that you got voter register. Why were you supposed to conduct that election with an updated voter register given to you officially by INEC? And the body said, we didn't give to you, and Atiku Abubaka is coming to celebrate such an election. If not for one thing, I would have recommended to INEC and even ask PDP or even all other political parties should join her and make Atiku their candidate. And I know should conduct this kind of election. This one is good. So this River State good local government election 2024 should be the yardstick for majorly credible and uh, free and fair election. And Atiku should stand as a candidate. There at the end, I know he will lose. <laughs> so when he lose or loses, he should come and begin to praise INEC and praise the president for a job well done. You see, this is one thing with them. They always forgetting tomorrow. And they will come telling you, oh, Nigeria has failed. Anek is not doing well. I think uh, it's very appalling and very annoying 
that somebody will applaud they say credible election have we seen credible election in, re in the state uh, electoral by the state electoral body they don't conduct credible elections it's all about selection it's all about selection we know the names of person who won the election even before the date of the election in river state we know their names their names were published they were celebrating even before the conduct of the election we saw we have uh, ballot papers never went to certain local government or certain ward and unit. Of course. Yet, if, uh, resort, you know, were read to people in the government house. We saw how substitution were, were, was conducted. Even people who hardly won the, their primaries at the party level are telling you that, no, this one wasn't our member. But yet, Risa declared the winner of a, a, an election. And an article is a pretty such election. I make... The board now is now in your cause. So copy from River State. Let us have 2027 general election. Yes, in, in, in this manner. And see, let's see those politicians, how they will celebrate it. I know some, one, of, one, one of them who described those state governorship elections as a state capture. After he has witnessed you know, in Anambra 20, 2010, he's saying that those state, state capture, where 2000 and, 2010, February 6, we saw a situation where names of voters were in the voter register and they went home angry and later he came back. He called the election should be cancelled later when he saw that the results were written in his favor. He came back and said, oh, transparent election, credible election. But the those that had a very wonderful election recently, he said it's a state capture. And the same article is doing. So River State uh, electoral body should be the yardstick for which INEC will conduct 2027 election. And let's see if people who are celebrating now will not cry. All right. In fact, what do you have to say to this? Um, this is a, a banter between two political bigwits, and I know for sure Aitiku is writing from the comfort of his room in Dubai. He even witnessed the election, what he called an election, which I still believe is an event because a date was set. You know, after the, what they call the election in River State, I have continued to say it in different fora that it, it, it was an event that took place. So, uh, Atiku writing from the comfort of his room in Dubai and uh, having gotten feedback on um, what transpired in River State and he's applauding it. The same measure is uh, what we will uh, expect to get to him and uh, he will also uh, re um, respond in the affirmative. And Atiku is happy that uh, a state that is um, known for PDP since 1999 till that uh, a sitting governor moved away the structure of the state, the structure of the PDP to another political party, and he is applauding it. I think when Fintri does that in uh, Adamawa, he will also applaud it uh, because he's, not, he's now not in the same good page with uh, Fintri. Speaks volume of where he's, uh, he's shooting from. Because uh, clearly, Fintri is uh, an ally of uh, Nyeson Wike and uh, is not sitting down well with uh, an article. And we we'll come to think of it, when a, a, a political party that prides itself as uh, the biggest political party in Africa, once upon a time, that uh, a sitting governor is now using the structure of the party to play an anti-party, and the, you also are affirming it. That means also, Atiku has uh, sanctioned um, and has, uh, you know, uh, ticked good anti-party activity. Because if you are now saying that another political party that is not PDP won an election right round in the... Because you know that polit politics is grassroots-rooted. Without the grassroots, without the world, the political party is clearly known in existence. But here is somebody in Atiku's uh, uh, caliber affirming an illegality. And again, why he's bantering this on Wike is this on Wike learned uh, politics uh, from them because politics in Nigeria is building, the, is building personalities. And that is what has given Atiku his leeway and his, his graphs of uh, politics in Nigeria because he prides himself as somebody who builds bridge across the, the Niger. And he is always banking, building that bridge, is that he's using the, his influence on the south, south, and southeast. He can make that kind of a route in the, in, in the north where a certain Muhammad Buhari has shown him how to be a grassroots man. But Nyeso Mike has learned that kind of politics. 
and Inyosomike can 100% prize himself as somebody who is building, you know, both in different political parties and touching lives, you know, positioning, you know, people in different spheres of Nigerian sector in maximizing his political weight. And that Tiku is not happy with it. And that is why this act burst. Clearly, that is what I can see. And uh, be him saying that uh, Mwike is rejected, I may make boast to say that any of them, even the governor of River State or anybody in Nigeria that is, um, that is uh, you know, trying to uh, water down the capacity of uh, Nelson Mwike is doing that at his or her own parade. And the, the president of Nigeria, Bola Metilibu, clearly understands that. Right. And those who are political watchers in Nigeria clearly understand that, that you cannot, you know, jettison or play down the weight of a Nelson Mwike in any political uh, uh, game in Nigeria. And All doing right. that will be at your own peril. And Atik also knows that. That's why he's trying to use sentiment to puncture whatever uh, Nelson Mwike represents. But uh, for, for, for me, his assertions are dead on uh, arrival because Nigerians know better. All right.